I'm not, I'm not even. I know. Let's go nice and easy. Oh, fuck, we're stuck here. Yeah, uh, okay. As it turned out, it got a lot uh, worse. And then my wife pointed out these shoe, uh, these, not shoe prints. Those are shoe prints. Those prints right there. And this is about to turn into like a horror movie or something, yo. Like, no, look, they end right there. They, they literally appear out of nowhere. Look, something's walking on its hind legs like a chupacabra or some shit. And then they just jumped and landed right there, yo. We're getting the hell out of here. Screw this. Florida guy out here. No shirt. Let's get it. Come on, ice storm, baby. I want I want six inches. No, no, that's not what she said. I want seven inches. That ain't enough. That ain't enough. I want eight, nine inches of snow. Let's go. Woo. Okay, I'm freezing my ass off. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right, so even though the title says there's no cars, uh kind of lied yeah so it turns out we got a race car too come on let's go unload this thing oh i almost tripped on camera what? do you want to build a race car i think i want to build a race car So we moved from Miami, Florida to Tennessee because we're trying to get away from hurricanes and now we're about to get hit by the biggest ice storm blizzard that's hit Middle Tennessee since like 1992. You gotta love it man, this thing follow us wherever we go. So today you guys are gonna join us for uh, the preparation of the ice storm of the century. This is gonna be fun, we gotta move a lot of cars, we gotta do a lot of crap. This is gonna suck, this is how I spend my weekends baby, let's go. If anything were to happen, I'm pretty sure this side-by-side -side right here is what's going to get us the hell out of Dodge. So first thing we got to make sure is this bad boy is fueled up. What's up, my girl? What's up, Dingo? Oh, Dingo, you got to get back inside. You're going to freeze to death. All right, next up, we got to fill up the generators coming from Miami, Florida. These things are a godsend. I recommend everybody has generators. Before we get to the cars, we got to take care of business, baby. So fill these bad boys up. And uh, hopefully we don't need these, but you never know. Here we go. Oh shit! Ah, it always happens every damn time. Son of a. Ah, here we go. Get like this, get it, Oh, it's gonna do it again. Yep. Yep. God bless America. Third time's a charm, right? Third time's a charm. Some bitch. All right.
course. Are you recording? Recording. Uh, of course. So we are driving through uh, this 2021 like crazy storm that's about to come. It's just the pre right now. It's 10:17. Uh, it's only 18 degrees. We're in Middle Tennessee, so and you see all the seashells there, guys. We come from Miami, Florida, which is why we're documenting this because this is a big deal to us. I mean, the coldest it's ever been is like maybe 25 degrees or something when we've been up here. We've only been here three years, and it's already getting pretty bad. But the hilarious part is that it's starting to snow, and you know there's black ice and all that stuff. And I literally have a giant white pickup truck tailgating the hell out of me and it goes to show like how some just some people just don't give a damn they just don't learn but anyways uh we'll take a look out here so far this is the drive heading to walmart get us some toilet paper milk and bread i'm just kidding we're not getting any of that what did your mom want us to get Di dr paper. pepper okay dr <laughs> pepper is toilet paper one of them nope okay good <laughs> just finished the walmart trip yeah. two carts worth you know, show the pack. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. The best thing, the best thing. Oh, we came here for supplies, get a good shot of this. Found out they got, uh, they brought back the Beast Wars. We'll be doing a video on that soon, so. Come here for supplies, end up uh, getting toys, but. Stopping up the Walmart run. And look at the ice build up. Oh, yeah. Look at it over here, look. It's like an inch of ice in the bed of the truck. That ain't a sign of good luck. I don't know what is. You getting that, baby? I'm getting it. That's a bald eagle right there, Clark. Look at it in the field. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna get close to it, and we're gonna watch it fly off. Get ready. Oh That's my okay. God. Oh, there's another. Sure. It flew. All right, I'm gonna go up there. Oh, look at that, boys. Look at that. Look at that. That ain't a sign of good luck, boys. I know what it is. Symbol of freedom right there, boy. Take a gander at it. Got your little American Eagle action, boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. You like your first, Amer is that the first Eagle you've seen? Like in person? Back, is it, really? Well, like in the wild. No, I've seen more. Really? Yeah. Nice. There, there was a back road and we saw a baby a baby bald eagle eating, uh, like, eating deer thing too. Well, excuse me. All right, man, let's roll. It's up on the tree. We're going to let it eat. We're going to let freedom eat, boys. We're going to let freedom eat. Speaking of eat, we got to go and load at the house. So let's get her done. So first update of the night. First update of the night. Woo! Let's get it. Tight, 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 tight. <laughs> Damn, son. Put your hand out. Put your hand out. No, it's hand. coming down hard. You feel the ice? <laughs> Is that crazy or what? Whoa. You want to touch the truck? Yo. It's ice. You see it? Woo. Man. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Uh, your boy literally got no shirt on. Damn, look at them nipples, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby was drawing on me. She gave me some tattoos. Don't worry about it. Anyways. Florida guy out here, no shirt. Let's get it. Come on, ice storm, baby. I want, I want six inches. No, no, that's not what she said. I want seven inches. That ain't enough. That ain't enough. I want eight, nine inches of snow. Let's go. I'm freezing my ass off. I'm getting out of here. <sighs> All right, guys. So we're gonna do a little uh, damage report. It is the next morning, and as you guys can see, it snowed. Uh, it's still currently snowing and it's about, uh, I think it's like eight degrees. So it's cold as hell for a guy from Miami, but anybody living in Canada or anything like that, eh, it's, it's a day in the park. It's, uh, it's t-shirt, shorts, and freaking flip-flop weather. So now what we're gonna do is drive around a little bit, uh, the property, and uh, see how bad it is. It's still currently snowing and like I said, uh, it's about eight degrees, but the wind makes it feel like it's actually right around three degrees or even lower than that so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna drive around we're gonna check out the race car down there we're gonna check out the crown vic that we left and then we'll see just how bad these back country roads can get during uh winter during snowstorms you guys will see how they don't even get salted over hell you can already get a little glimpse of it now they
All right, and I can tell from here that them roads are completely covered. Like I said, nobody really takes care of them back here. And a lot of people really don't even drive out just because it's pretty dangerous driving on roads that aren't even treated. But we got um, the parts Vic. Yes, this is gonna be a parts Vic. I figured out it's gonna be a lot cheaper to just buy another Crown Vic. Prices have dropped immensely. I don't know if it's due to that video that I put out saying they shouldn't even be anything over $3,000. But man, I've been finding them all over the place for uh, right around $15,000 to $2,000, which is exactly where Crown Vic needs to be. We got the race car on deck. We got the wolf. He's an Arctic wolf. We got the race car on deck. I didn't have a choice but to leave it out here. Um, I think it'll be all right for another one or two days. The barn is completely filled, as you guys saw with the Crown Vic and with a Mustang. I'm gonna drive down to them roads, see what they're like, see what them untreated roads are like. Yep, just like we suspected, the roads are completely covered. Um, we're gonna drive up to my wife's aunt's house just right up the driveway and then we're gonna come right back just to see what driving on this would even be like but it's already sketchy as hell i'm not gonna lie holy crap let's get it see this is where in all those videos where people say you need a four-wheel drive truck for snow and i definitely agree uh the only thing is this kind of snow happens like once every couple years in tennessee it's not a common thing at all so we're kind of just taking it easy this is it. Yep. Them roads completely covered nice. This is pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool, man. Hasn't snowed like this in Tennessee in quite some time, boys. Let's run the thing. It's easy, aren't we, baby? We get back in the truck real quick. That's a nice picture of the... Look at this. An Arctic Coyote truck. Arctic Coyote truck. I gotta start doing more truck videos. Let me know in the comment section down below if you even made it this far. Thumbs up for more uh, truck videos. Right, guys and now it's finally uh, getting darker everything's been put away the generators have been filled up it really wasn't possible to do anything car related doing any kind of car videos was pretty much impossible with the way that the weather is getting with as bad as it's getting so I figured this is uh, the best we can do right now have you guys come along for uh, come along for a little time off car free well relatively car free and just uh, join us for this epic winter storm epic <laughs> it's not really gonna be that bad uh okay as it turned out it got a lot uh worse holy crap we're gonna try to drive at the bottom of the driveway and see um just how much is covered damn we were not expecting this much you guys saw earlier you know you got a nice little uh amount of snow but man it's definitely gotten worse and uh, there is no end in sight let's make it quick trip to the bottom this is the best job i could do right now don't 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 hate too much guys don't hate too much this is some craziness right here all right let's get her done oh making her way down the driveway oh dude oh by the way uh first time snow experience i'm from miami oh well, my my whole family is driving on a snow filled driveway uh feels pretty weird actually we're gonna pull in right here because this snow is actually pretty damn deep we're gonna try we were trying to make it to the bottom of the driveway just to see how much the road has been covered and honestly i don't even know if we'll make it that far i can i can oh shit the truck's slipping already fuck ah oh, shit i'm not i'm not even i know just go nice and easy oh fuck we're stuck here god fucking damn it i'm sorry for the cursing um all right, damn, thank God we didn't even go any further. Mm -hmm. 
Thank God we did not go any further. Traction control? Will that do anything? Yeah, so we kind of uh, started getting stuck right around that area and our house is literally right there. We couldn't even make it out of the damn driveway. Um, Crown Vic is still pretty covered up. The bottom of it isn't filled. Let's check out the race car now. You guys remember that last shot of it. Let's see here. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to leave it here. No way we're gonna be able to make it to the bottom of that driveway. We might be stuck here for a little bit. Uh, cabin fever, baby, cabin fever. Let's take a look at that Ford logo. Damn, look at that though, in the snow. That shit looks cool, man. All right, so this look, we were just ending the video and then my wife pointed out these shoe, uh, these, not shoe prints, those are shoe prints. Those prints right there. And this is about to turn into like a horror movie or something, yo, like they just stop right there. Those are obviously our shoe prints. What the hell is that? And then I was coming back to the truck and I noticed, where are they? There you go. Look at them. Oh man. Something in the barn. Let's see. Um, I'm not going to go all the way in there, but you know, cause I ain't white. So I, I know how these movies go, but no, look, they end right there. They, they literally appear out of nowhere. Look. And then they stop there, and it's like something has jumped. Like, yeah, but look at this which one? Like it looks like that doesn't look like a deer. It looks like a big. Like, oh shit! That looks like something's walking on its hind legs, like a chupacabra or some shit. And then they just jumped and landed right there. Yo, we're getting the hell out of here. Screw this. I am not white, and I ain't, ain't about that life. Later. Okay, I was gonna end the video again. This is our house. And look at the prints. What the hell? Just coming out of the woods. Right next to our house. The plot thickens, boys. The plot thickens. We don't make it out, you guys. Whoever saw this video. Yeah, I, 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 no lie. I really kind of... Here, I want to see. All right. Going against my non-white people instincts here. They stop. No, they go from there. To the burn pile. Something's in that burn pile. And I ain't about to find out, but it's just right next to the house. Let me get that Glock ready. I'm about to get that AK ready. Let's go. Let's go. Go moose hunting or something. <laughs> 